want to know who the most powerful anime characters are, sometimes you have to look for the dramatic moments when they put their power on display. Anime characters who flex their strength include Eskinor of the Seven Deadly Sins, who is so strong that he cleaved a mountain in half, and is so terrifying that his aura alone turned his enemy into stone. There is also Mario from My Hero Academia, who challenged a class of 1A to battle and wiped the floor with them. Are these anime characters showing off? Sure, but a little self-confidence never hurt anyone. These characters know exactly how strong they are and want the rest of the world to know it too. Whose strength are you the most impressed by? Welcome to our channel. Today we bring you the list of top 10 anime biggest flexes. Before you continue, please click on the subscribe button below and press the bell icon for regular updates. Number 10 is Rock Lee Drops His Leg Weights. Naruto. In the middle of his Chunin exam battle against Gara, Guy suggests that Rock Lee take off his leg weights to help him move a little easier. Lee resists at first since Guy once told him that he should only remove the weights to protect others. But ultimately, he takes his sensei's suggestion and drops the weights to the ground. They crash to the floor so hard they almost break it, leaving Lee able to bounce around the room like a boomerang. To be fair to Rocky Lee, he's not exactly showing off here, he's just trying to make the flight go a little more smoothly. But intentional or not, everybody in the room was astonished by his speed and strength. So yeah, this one was definitely a flex. Number 9 is Escanor sliced through a mountain, the seven deadly sins. Someone who had only seen Escanor during the night wouldn't be able to believe their eyes if they saw his jaw-dropping display of strength during the battle with Galen. Not only did the lion's sin of pride cleave his way through a freaking mountain, he also defeated Galland without laying a hand on him. How did he do that, you ask? By having an aura that was so terrifying that Galland turned into stone out of fear. Needless to say, everyone watching was thoroughly convinced of Escanar's strength. Just seeing how much he towers over Estorosa really puts into perspective how tall and how muscular Escanar really is. He seemingly gets even more shredded when that one special minute comes into play. And we have seen that it's not just for show. I mean, no one has succeeded at even picking up his axe, and yet he swings it around carelessly. Number 8 is Killer Zoldic Tears Out a Man's Heart, Hunter x Hunter. During the Hunter exam, Kalua Zoldic is faced with a challenge that would have had most people quitting right there and then. In fact, most people encourage Kalua to do so, except for Gon, who knows Kalua well enough by now to know he's got this. Kalua is supposed to fight a straight-up serial killer who is in prison for his crimes, and has no intention of showing Kalua the slightest hint of mercy. With great speed and great calm, Kalua tears the man's heart straight out of his body. The scene is one of the more brutal ones in the show, and it truly drives home the fact that Kalua is not screwing around. Number 7 is Saitama Terrifies the Hero Association, One Punch Man. While viewers are well acquainted with Saitama's strength, the Hero Association somehow failed to get the memo. This is in spite of his absolute stellar performance during the placement exam. Seriously, he outperformed everyone around him, whether he was lifting weights, winning a race, or playing whack-a-mole. His fellow examees were about ready to give up. Unfortunately for Saitama, this wasn't enough to achieve S-rank status, largely because his essays weren't quite as impressive as his strength. Number 6 is Roronoa Zoro accepts Luffy's pain as his own. Zoro would be cool enough if all there were to him was his finesse with the sword, but in this harrowing scene he shows that there's a lot more going on besides his blade work. In order to help out Luffy during a battle with Bartholomew Kuma, Zoro asks that Luffy's life be spared in exchange for his own. Rather than just eliminate him, Kuma agrees to let Luffy be if Zoro is willing to take on all of the pain Luffy had experienced up until that point. Not only does Zoro do it, he insists that he's totally fine and nothing happened while he's clearly in agony. Shouldering all of the pain is definitely a flex, but it'd be nice if he could actually admit to what he was going through. Zoro tries to fight for Luffy since he lies helplessly on the ground. Through Zoro's efforts, Kuma offers a deal with him. He tells him that he can take all of Luffy's pain away, but has to implant in Zoro. Zoro agrees to this deal when Kuma says he could die from all of this pain. 
Kuma takes all of Luffy's pain away from him, gives a small portion to Zoro, and Zoro jumps into Luffy's pain. Bubble. Number five is Madara flexes huge with a simple question. Naruto Shippuden. Would you like these clones to use Suzanu or not? Imagine fighting Madara, and it's already nearly impossible to even land a blow on him. And then he says something like that? He has a lot of flex moments throughout the series, but this moment during the fourth Shinobi War was a clear example of him knowingly flexing on his opponents. Naruto's biggest flex arguably comes from the Baruto series after he's become the Hokage. It was almost widely accepted that after becoming Hokage, Naruto had become soft, mainly softer than Sasuke, who'd spent the whole time skip invading fortresses and battling enemies left, right, and center. He spent most of the series being yelled at by his son and by some of the fan base for not being stronger than he was at the end of Shippuden or when he fought Toneri. It almost seemed like a middle finger from Masashi, making the hero we love so much so weak and so low. Number four is Mirio shows off his power, My Hero Academia. It would have been easy enough for Mirio to just tell Class 1A why he's one of the top students at UA, but showing them makes a much better impression. He offers to fight the entire class, minus Todoroki who is busy at the moment, and utterly trounces them. Seriously, no one's able to even land a single hit. Why? Because they couldn't figure out how his quirk, Permeate, worked and he was easily able to avoid all of their attacks. While this was definitely a flex, he also explained afterward that his quirk was just about impossible to use safely and had required years of struggle to master. He didn't only want to prove how cool he was, he also wanted to impress upon Class 1A that being great isn't easy. Number 3 is Vegeta Rex the Punching Machine, Dragon Ball Z. Vegeta is such a prideful guy that he can't let a single opportunity to show off his strength pass. While the rest of the Z fighters are lightly tapping a punching machine to make it display relatively low levels of strength, Vegeta is rolling his eyes at the farciful nature of the exercise. When it's his turn, he destroys the machine in a single blow. No way is this Saiyan prince going to pretend to be weaker than he actually is. A punching machine is used to determine who the 16 fighters in the tournament will be. Mr. Satan, Hercule, who automatically gets one of those 16 spots, scores a 137. Goku, Krillin, Android 18, and Piccolo each give it a light tap and get in the 200s of it. Android 18 originally scored a 774, but they told her that the machine is busted. Vegeta does not hold back at all, and when he punches the machine, it is destroyed. Thus, all five of them qualify for the tournament. Number two is Ainz Ual Gaon eliminates 70,000 people in one shot, Overlord. Ending 70,000 lives in a single shot is probably the biggest power flex imaginable. It's also pretty terrifying behavior coming from a protagonist, but that's Ainzu Gaon for you. In order to deal with his opponents, he decided to use 70,000 of them as sacrifices so that he could summon a gigantic goat demon that ravaged those who'd survived the first go-round. None of that was necessary. Ainz has plenty of conventional methods he could have relied on. The giant skeleton monster was just showing off. Number one is Father Creates a Miniature Son. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. After chowing down on God, Father gains the ability to do pretty much whatever the heck he wants. He doesn't exactly need to create a miniature son that he's capable of holding in the palm of his hand, but we're talking about a formerly powerless dwarf in a flask who seeks to be the most powerful being in the world, so it tracks. Father is obsessed with proving how strong he is, which leaves him vulnerable to betrayal later on. Father is the founding amistress and for teaching its people alchemy. With a Philosopher's Stone containing over half a million people from the Kingdom of Xerxes, Father is incredibly powerful. Not only can he perform alchemy without moving, but he can also temporarily prevent other alchemists from using alchemy. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Comment down below and let us know about regular updates.